Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of The Inner World. I have tried to record this ep- this before. I played about an hour and a half and recorded all of it, but the sound quality was just junk. So I started fresh because I want, didn't want to upload something that was crappy for you guys. So let's get started. Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed. But the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience. In hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Well, not like his own son, of course. allowed to take that. It belongs to Conroy. I polish it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace <gasps> because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of it. And if the Basilians oh, turn you uh, to uh, stone, uh, it's your uh, own fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh, Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Hmm? <laughs> No! <laughs> no! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pigeon. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog. Oh, uh, hey, oh. Kitty, kitty. That thieving pigeon. So we don't need a tutorial. I've actually played through this. <clears throat> like I said, I recorded about three or four episodes, and when I went to edit them, they the sound quality of the game was. Uh, it was staticky, so I had to adjust some settings before. I just didn't want to upload something that was low quality for you guys. But we are in control of this little guy. His name is Robert. 
And right now, we are after that pigeon. And this game actually released, I think, in 2013 on PC. But it released today on Xbox One, so I thought we would play it. So the first thing we need to do is try to get the pigeon. And if you look around, there's stuff you can interact with. So we can uh, interact with this crutch. Oh, a crutch. Whose crutch is this? And if we... Well, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. If we take it, the top breaks off. Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyways. And there's several things you can interact oh, with around I the world. Recognize that smile anywhere. Conroy. Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. And uh, we're going to be playing this game pretty slow because I like wind sock blowing in the wind. I like exploring and interacting with everything. Oh, great. My own wind sock. Wind socks are awesome. He's digging into the sacred earth. Catch that worm. Slippery little... It's too fast. I wonder why they searched the girl. She looks rather nice. Don't take down the posters. Okay, if you're like a achievement hunter like to get all the achievements the first achievement is right here garbage. pick this bottle up and if you try to give it to it's the filled with fermented not terrine juice how long has that been lying here for <laughs> smells like tuesday a year ago if you try to give it to the garbage dealer you'll get the first achievement i've already got it Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello, can you help me? That depends on what you mean. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not me. Well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need garbage? So let's go ahead and ask him about the garbage. Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Esposha. You sell stinking garbage? Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. So let's ask him about the letter A. Is that an A? This? Do you maybe want to buy a letter? You can have it for a few aspirity. Why would I need one of those? What's your name, kid? Robert. Well, if you'd have an A, you could make it Roberta, for example. Or Robert. The possibilities are endless. No thanks. I have a headache now. <laughs> Let's ask him about the sandwich. What's that? This? An exquisite sandwich. It has only been eaten twice before. Um, thanks. I'd rather not. You sure? I also have a half full root milkshake to offer with it. At least I'm pretty sure that it's a milkshake. No thanks. I've somehow lost my appetite. Who knows if I'll ever find it again. Sandwich looks pretty good to be half eaten twice. So let's go ahead and get this bird feed. What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great. That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few asporororo, it's yours. <laughs> We're not sure what asporororo is. Asporororo. Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? 
Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's health is good and fine, so be nice and wait in line. You get all that for Asporora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. We still don't know what this is. He doesn't have a clue. Uh, Robert, that is. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for Esps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted as potion I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, I I'm very sorry for that. Thank you for the feed. We're like the a pro negotiator. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll give him this alcohol. He won't take it, but I'll let you see the conversation. Kid, where did you get that from? Alcohol's against the law. Oh, I didn't know that. No, seriously, where did you get that bottle from? It's easier to get cyanide than that stuff. Okay. So, what you want to do here is... We'll untie this. The bag is tied up with string. I'll untie the knot. Hey, it's empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Well, the bag's a bit... Watch it, pal. I mean, that practical string is exactly what I wanted. So if we take this string... ...and add it to the windsock... If I tie the end of the windsock with thread... ...it will make a net. And this right here becomes a slingshot, but you need to open this, and that cork will be the ammunition. That smells disgusting. And then we'll use this on the worm. Hi, worm. You look thirsty. <laughs> and now if we grab the worm Come here. The party's over. and if we add the worm to the broken crutch I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. it will make a slingshot and then we'll add the cork to the slingshot and we'll make a loaded slingshot. So what should I shoot at first? And the first thing you want to shoot at, if you shoot at the pigeon, it will just dodge it. You want to shoot at this old fish. Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Well, Worm, now you're free again, but I'll keep this cork. And now, since the bird's down here, you want to use the net. Uh, net on the pigeon. You can't escape. Hey! 
What do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint. You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? Whatever. Peck, come here. <laughs> Tell Conroy that from now on, the winds are about to change. Ha! It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me. I have to find that pigeon. And the girl too. Especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Laura. Wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of Asposia, assault, chewing gum in public, and raiding the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. <laughs> He's already in love. Love at for first sight. Let's go ahead and pick this one sock up. Uh, you can't pick the old fish up yet because it's all greasy. It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. So let's move into the next area. So let's go ahead and ask about Laura. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters. Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the Brazilians. So let's ask about Laura one more time. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. So she's trying to uh, pull one over on us. So let's ask about the baby. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold. Or the hunger. Or the despair. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you, you're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas made from strawberry yarn for my baby to wear. So she wants us to get a onesie. But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. 
Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic strawberry yarn. But isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric. The fabric of nobles. The baby insists on it. Oh, yes. Of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay, then. A onesie made from straw beer yarn. So let's ask about the song. This song. It reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Where did you learn the song you just sang? My mother taught it to me. Where did she learn it? From her mother. Ah. Where did she learn it? From her mother. I see. And where did she learn it? It was carried on the wind. Enough now. Okay. Well then, goodbye. Let's go talk to this kid. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. <laughs> let's talk to this kid. Well, first, let's look at this. You want to get this walking stick because you're going to need it later. I'd better take it before someone steals it. And then you can uh, look at all of these. I wonder what he's done to incur the Bazillion's wrath. This was either caused by a Bazillion attack or someone built a house without a roof. I don't think someone would build a house without a roof. So let's go ahead and talk to this kid. Oh, the little boy's playing. I used to play Escape from the Palace. Conroy even played with me. I never won. Well, you won this time, Robert. Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh, friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Detza. Gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. What is our request? Let's ask about this map. What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. So this little kid tied his friend up to a tree and left him there. It doesn't sound too nice. Is that your Foss Foss? Yes, its name is Foss. I saved it. You did? How so? It was captured on Asposia's highest tower. Isn't Asposia's highest tower the lighthouse that doesn't shine anymore? Yes, I remember Conroy telling me that the phosphos there had been stolen from the tower. Not stolen. Freed. Oh. So he stole a phosphos too. Oh, what a nice pot. Did you just call it a pot? This helmet saved my life a million times. Like, like when I had to fight the root trolls. Uh-huh. How did you do that? Fire! Are you talking about that big fire two years ago? Otherwise, the root trolls would have destroyed all of Asposia. And the big flood extinguished the fire. You did that as well? If the question implies that I saved everybody's lives, the answer would be yes! Let's go ahead and ask about the treasure. What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes! Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? 
I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. I don't think this little kid is uh, good news. Let's go ahead and ask about the map one more time. Are you sure that this is a treasure map? It looks like a knitting pattern to me. Oh, come on! Do I look like I can't tell a treasure map from a knitting pattern? No, uh, yes. I mean, of course, but, but I think that... Listen, I will tell you what I've been trying to tell my mom. And the judge. And the uncle who wanted to discuss my dreams with me. If I tell you it's real, then it's real! Okay. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. Let's just go ahead and leave him alone. Let's see if there's anything else we can look at. A phosphos. They give up light and warmth. They don't eat, produce noise, or exhaust fumes. Practical. But they need wind in order to glow. No, the cage is securely locked. Someone seems to think that the phosphos could get stolen. I would just borrow it for a minute. That little kid would steal it. The staggering phosphos. Why is it staggering? Probably because it's a bar. It's too high. Besides, I don't need a huge sign right now. Today, jaw shatterer for Aspiri. This must be a dentist's office. <laughs> no, it, it is a bar. Can we walk behind us? No. Let's go ahead and look at this door. It doesn't look very stable. Whoever lives here doesn't own anything worth locking away. Let's see what's in there. A pillow? Half a glass of pickles? And a few nails? I wish I had such a nice room in the palace. But Conroy says wealth spoils character. So look at all these phosphos. Well, that one's different too. This one, these two don't have noses. But look at this one over here. It's got a long nose. And this one over here has a round nose. I didn't notice that before. I'm going to cut the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We're going to keep releasing these. And we'll probably do a full playthrough of it. So if you guys want more, make sure to leave a like and comment. And subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you guys next time.